Hello, now we are going to discuss the enzymes. They are also important. They are the biomolecule enzymes are biocatalyst. Life is possible due to the coordination of various chemical action in living organism. Example is like as digestion of food, appropriate molecules and ultimately production of energy. This process involves a sequence of reactions in our body. This occurs with the help of certain biocatalysts. Certain chemical action takes place with the help of enzymes. They are called biocatalysts. Enzymes are very specific for a particular reaction and for a particular substance. And they are generally named after the compound or the class of compound on which they will work. So, there are some enzymes, we have discussed this enzyme in the alcohol chapter also, that sucrose is converted into glucose with the help of invertase enzyme and glucose is converting into the alcohol ethanol in the presence of zymes, whereas urea is converted into the ammonia and CO2 with the help of urease and maltose is converted into the glucose and lactose with the help of maltase. Lactose is also converted into the glucose with lactose with the help of lactose. And one more thing about the enzyme that is its mechanism. Its mechanism that is log and key arrangement. Enzyme react with substrate it will give you enzyme intermediate which will break down heat any reaction it will give you enzyme in product now the next is that vitamins vitamins and enzyme enzyme are also very reactive at 298 kelvin temperature and pH stand from 6 to 7. So the vitamins are also, they we required in very small amount and actually vitamins are of two types. One is water soluble and another is water insoluble. The water soluble vitamins are B and C and what insoluble vitamins are vitamin A, B, E, K. That's why one question is there why we cannot store why we cannot store vitamin C in our body. Because of that, it is water soluble and released with the help of urine from the body. That's why vitamin C cannot be stored in our body. Next is that the disease caused due to the lack of vitamins please learn them remember them they will come in the exams has been asked like as yes guys now the next point is that deficiency disease caused by the different vitamins here i am mentioning the vitamins and the disease caused by them like as the deficiency of vitamin a cause zero pathalmia now it has been asked by zero pathalmia which is commonly known as night blindness vitamin b1 deficiency cause very very disease in which loss of appetite takes place and vitamin 2 vitamin b2 callosis that is the fishing corner of the eyes that is muscles around the eye are contracted it will come on the old age we learn this now they will ask b2 b6 and b12 not ask b1 b6 gives you convulsions means that contraction of muscles takes place 
and vitamin B12 give you pernicious anemia, sickle cell anemia, mainly deficiency of RBC in our blood. Then vitamin C, it gives you scurvy, that is bleeding gums. And vitamin D, rickets, and vitamin E increase the fragility of RBC, can be weak, can be flat, and muscular weakness. And vitamin K stands for blood clotting. You also learn, and out of these, all the types of B, particularly B2, B6, and B12, frequently has been asked in different kind of examination. In next class, we will do the last topic of this lesson, that is the nucleic acids. Till then, goodbye. Thanks for being with me. Goodbye.